For coping up with the limitations of the algorithm power, we have two main topics. One is backtracking and the other one is branch and bound. In this video, let's discuss about backtracking. One of the definition goes like this. Backtracking is a general algorithm for finding solutions to some computational problems, notably constraint satisfaction problems that incrementally builds candidates to the solutions and abandons a candidate as soon as it determines that the candidate cannot possibly be completed to a valid solution. The main idea here is to construct solutions one component at a time and evaluate such partially constructed candidates. Evaluation is based on the constraints given. If a partially constructed solution can be developed further without violating the problem's constraint, then you consider the first legitimate option to go further. If there is no legitimate option for the next component, you don't have to consider other alternatives for any remaining components. In this case, the algorithm backtracks to replace the last component of the partially constructed solution with its next option. Solutions are represented in the state space tree. Its root represents the initial state before the search for a solution begins. Nodes at level 1 represents the choices made for first component of the solution, level 2 for the second component and so on. A node is said to be promising if it corresponds to a partially constructed solution that may still lead to a complete solution. Otherwise it is called as a non-promising node. At the end, the leaves represent a non-promising dead end or a complete solution. The advantage here is that it saves a lot of time by not choosing to continue when a non-promising node is found. It just backtracks and goes on wherever there are promising nodes. This diagram represents a state space tree. This is the root node. This is level 1 and this is level 2. At root node, the search for solution has not yet begun. From root node, you go to level 1, say you choose this node and you check for constraints. If it is not violated, then you consider this particular node and you go for next level. After this node, say you consider this node in second level. And at this level, the constraint is getting violated. So you go back to its parent node. And then the other possible option is to choose this particular node. Assume that here also the constraint is violated. Then you go back to its parent node. At this stage there are no more children of this particular node to check. So you go back one more level. After you come back to this node, the other option is for you to check this node. So you go here, constraint is checked. And then you go to another node. So at this point you might find a solution. So the path we just followed is a complete solution. At this point you can stop the algorithm if you wanted only one single solution. Otherwise the search for other solution continues. You can see that the process here is similar to depth first search. We'll see the examples like end queen's problem, Hamiltonian circuit problem and subset sum problem in the coming videos. Mm -hmm.